You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face with me on Greater Brockton, Lynn Smith. Good Hi, to Lynn. see How you, Good to see Excellent. you. Excellent, thanks. So we're, you're wearing the Keith Park Neighborhood Association hat right I now. I am. Because you're involved in a lot of things. I so am. So we're going to do that one. And you have a Flag Day picnic coming up. We do. Now, everybody knows that the official Flag Day um, celebration is June 14th. So we pick the Sunday that's closest, with it, which is June 10th, and we start about 11.30. So what we say to the community and the neighbors is bring your own picnic hamper, bring your own sandwiches, bring your own favorite takeout from a Campello restaurant. And what we do, the association provides cold drinks and ice and fresh fruit and desserts, and then we provide whole bunches of games for the kids to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And the park is looking really good. The park is looking really good. Tim Carpenter and his crew have been wonderful in terms of the maintenance. We did a quick pick up, but they've really done a great job. But we're having a little problem with the fountain. You know, it's a circulating pump. And we found out that some of the cement was like flaking off mm. and was blocking the little drainage oh, holes. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I never had a pool. Did you ever have a swimming pool? No, I no, never no. had a pool. No. But I guess what you can do is you can drain it, sand it, paint it, seal it somehow, mm -hmm. and then that will alleviate the flaking and the clogging and the problems. So we're going to work as hard as we can to have the fountain up and running for the okay. um, Sunday picnic on the 10th. And now that the weather's finally better, yes, hopefully it'll stay I that know, way. I know, I know. It's we're, unbelievable. We're, we're praying we're getting ready for all the graduations and we want the oh, weather to yeah. be nice for the graduates. Now tell, remind me, when is, I know... Um, Brockton High is Brockton High is Saturday up. the 2nd, and of course there's a rain date because it can't fit everybody inside. Sure. It's Sunday the 3rd, and Sunday, if it rains yep. Sunday the 3rd, it's Monday the 4th, Okay. So, which is crazy because we have budget hearings on Monday the <gasps> That's 4th. Right. So we're hoping That's that right. doesn't happen. Southeastern is coming up on the 6th, okay. of, uh, which is a Wednesday, and we already did the Cardinal Spellman graduation, yep. and we helped out with Stonehill. So. You know, and everybody says, oh, there's nothing to do in Brockton. <laughs> So oh, yeah. the ninth, I know there's a wiffle ball tournament going on. There's the um, uh, Family South Shore um, leadership. leadership Conference. So that's why we picked the Sunday yep. to do the picnic. We figure 1130, people are coming out of church. Maybe they take their church clothes off and they put their play clothes on. That's a good time, Lynn, because the other event I promoted before you came in that's going to be in the same show probably with you yep. is the 3K Healathon. <gasps> that uh, Live Life Now Foundation right. is doing. So that's earlier, so then we can do two events in one day. That's perfect. It's a that's Sunday, perfect. but that's okay. Well, you know, this is really geared, geared for the kiddos. So we have hula hoops, we have jump ropes, we have chalk, you know, for the sidewalks. We have badminton. We have volleyball. We have relay races. Okay. So the, we have beanbag toss. We have ring toss. So the kids really get to sort of move around and try different things. But one of the important things that we do is we were gifted a flag that flew over the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C. So part of the Flag Day Sunday picnic is to put that flag up and we teach the kiddos the proper etiquette, right. how it's folded, why it's folded that way, how to unfold it, how not to let it touch the ground. I didn't know, Mark, somebody taught me that as the flag is going up the flagpole, you don't play the Star Spangled Banner. You mm. wait until it's at the top, okay. and then you play um, the music. So all of those things. Dave Farrell has been great um, helping us. We had a couple of former Marines that come and help us. So the kids really take it seriously. I'm sure they learn it in school, but it's just another layer. It's kind of a lost art. Okay. Well, and the Boy Scouts they, and the Girl Scouts do there it. There used to be a flag day at the old Whitman School that I went to. And uh, one of the Wainwrights, the senior Wainwright, always used to conduct that ceremony. I remember mm -hmm. when I went there in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And then yeah. he did it all the way up to a very elderly age until he couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Um, and my mother, that was the last school that she taught at before she retired. Mm -hmm. So I used to still go to it all the way at the end. So um, that's, and, and you have a website and information if people want to know more inf information? We do. So probably the most active site is the Facebook um, account that we have. So it's Keith Park Neighborhood Association. We almost have almost 600 followers now. Nice. 
And then we have a free Weebly website, which is KPNA, the Keith Park Neighborhood Association. So kpnabrockton.weebly.com, and we keep that um, updated. So it's June 10th, and then we'll post our upcoming activities because we're really, really excited that Friday Night Flex is coming back. The big uh, inflatable movie screen is going to come back this summer. Oh, good. And we'll talk about that, too. You also have a resident leader training that you're involved with? I do. You know, back about, oh, it's got to be almost six or nine months ago, a consulting firm came up to Brockton from Washington, D.C., called the National Resource Network. Mm -hmm. And they interviewed everybody as stakeholders in the community to ask them, how do we build grassroots engagement neighborhood by neighborhood? And they really liked the templates of the Keith Park Neighborhood Association and Frederick Douglass. So we're trying to replicate that. I have about 25 residents who are interested, all walks of life, all backgrounds, very diverse, and we're starting to do training. You know, things like how do you set up an agenda? How much can you fit in a 90 minute? Right. How do you do icebreakers so people meet each other? How do you get a tax ID for the purpose of opening a bank account? Not a 501c3 that's a nonprofit tax exempt, but just to open sure. a bank account to yep. make a deposit. How do you set up checks and balances so that the money is spent in an appropriate way? How do you plan an event? How do you know how many people are going to come? How do you do outreach? How do you keep track of the expenses in any particular issue? How do you know what the issues in your neighborhood are in terms of um, cleanliness, in terms of safety, in terms of a stop sign is missing? Do you know if anything was ever done in the past to address it? How do you address it going forward? And how do we improve communication with the city? Well, we're going to bring you back to talk about that one because that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah, that doing it's to a lot with. to it if you've never been involved um, with it. There's a lot to think about. And I think people are a little bit intimidated um, until they get into it. But, you know, there's wisdom in a crowd. Absolutely. And when you share that information, it's really uplifting. And, you know, the library system has been amazingly supportive of us. So we had our first training session, now let me get this right, at the West Library. And then we, tonight, I think, and I've lost track, but anyway, at the end of May, we're going to have one at East, because one is open late on one night, right. and one is open. I'm on the board, and okay, I get so it you, confused. Yeah, so, so you know. But that's, so, what, we're there for. that's what the library so, is there so, for. So come on June 10th to Keith Park to picnic in the park, 11.30 to 2.30. Bring a chair or a blanket. Bring your picnic hamper. We'll keep you busy and keep you happy. And then hold the date, mark on your calendar, August 24th for the movie. The kids at the Gilmore School are going to vote on what movie they well, want to see. Well, I'm going to miss you for that one because it's my birthday and I'm going to be oh, on vacation. Oh, all right. Well, we'll okay. put a happy birthday message up on the big screen. <laughs> Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.